So it's a great honor to have you here on this uh, 100 years jubileum of the Hungarian Equestrian Federation. And um, what is the personal motivation you have derived to this uh, nice evening? So no, it's a, it's a big honor and a big pleasure for me to be here in Hungary. And uh, the reason that I'm here is uh, quite obvious. Uh, Hungary has such a long and rich tradition in equestrian sport. It's a very important member also of the International Equestrian Federation. And, uh, and I like to come to Hungary because I know that uh, you can throw very good parties and have great celebrations. My other question is that um, how do you see the future of the equestrian sport in the in the world of any other sports because we have different challenges nowadays so what is your uh, perspective and your view about our lo beloved sport Well I think uh, that we all know that we are living in a very competitive world uh, where not only a lot of other new sports are knocking at the door, especially at the door of the Olympic Games, but also many other ways of entertainment. But I think that our sport, uh, compared to many other sports, is very special. First of all, we have this unique relationship with the horse, with the animal, which in a, a community, in a society that is becoming more and more urbanized, is, uh, is really important. Secondly, uh, we are uh, the only Olympic sport where men and women compete together in the same competitions. So I think we have a lot of, uh, of jokers, I would say, uh, that uh, make our sport uh, standing up against all the others. But it's very competitive and uh, we need also to look at ourselves and uh, make sure that our sport is sustainable and that we take really care of the horse. Uh, when I mean is uh, the welfare of the horse always needs to be our first priority. Previously you have been to Hungary and uh, have visited some uh, nice shows. Uh, what do you see uh, regarding the prospect of the Hungarian equestrian lives in the world of uh, equestrian sports internationally? Well, I think uh, Hungary has quite a lot of assets. I mean, uh, you have a, a full picture. I mean, you have a very rich tradition. It's uh, one of your cultural heritages. It's in your DNA, as we say. It's not only equestrian sport, it's horse breeding as well. It's horsemanship. Uh, and that's really very important for the development of the sport. And I really believe that you, you have the potential uh, to further develop. It's good to see, for instance, that you have now uh, an athlete qualified for the Olympic Games uh, in eventing and uh, in the three, two other disciplines uh, reserves. So this is already a very big achievement. So I think the sport is growing. If I see that you have over 100 international events uh, in your calendar uh, every year, over 500 athletes and over 1,000 horses competing on an international level, then I think uh, there is uh, everything uh, in place to have a, a bright and, and great future. And my last question, uh Personally, we see a lot you are doing for the equestrian sport and, and uh, we know a little bit where you are coming from. But can you tell us a little bit your motivation, your background, where you started, how you, are, how you did became part of this uh, as a president of the uh, International Equestrian Federation and maybe what are your personal goals for the future? First of all, I think uh, the horse uh, has always been in my family because uh, my grandfather had a, a big uh, horse racing uh, operation. Uh, I, I, I went there often, of course, as a child, but I came to equestrian sport more uh, thanks to a very good friend and the mayor of my little village, where we organized very important international events in uh, show jumping, and that's... Uh, when I came uh, to the Belgian Federation, I've been in the Belgian Federation for 20 years as a Secretary General. And then uh, my predecessor, Her Royal Highness uh, Princess Aya, asked me to become her Secretary General. And then uh, three years later, uh, they all asked me to become the President, and that's all history. So uh, now I'm in my last mandate. So uh, in 2026, my mandate ends, and uh, I cannot continue because these are the statutes, and I'm very happy to respect them, uh, but uh, for me, uh, equestrian and the horse is in my heart, and uh, the only thing that I hope after my presidency uh, of the FEI is that I can start again to ride horses 
and enjoy them instead of doing the bureaucratic uh, actions. Thank you very much for the interview. We wish you good luck and health for this uh, personal goal. Thank you.